Okay, so I'm back inside of Maya, and um, this session, this tutorial, we're going to be modeling the um, knife. So I didn't manage to find a side view of like a butter knife or table knife kind of thing, um, but you know I've got a top view, so that'll be that should be fine. So I'm going to set my project file, set project, and then set it to dinner set two, and click set. Okay, now I'm going to come into my four view and let's go to top because i've got a top image of a butter knife so i'm going to come to view image plane import image and desktop uh, which one is it cool so this is my um image plate the image i'm going to use let's go there okay so we're going to do this the same way we did our um, very similar way we did our fork. We're just going to start with a cube, we're going to form the handle, and then we're going to form this sort of curve down here. So, I'm going to get my cube. I'll be working predominantly in this view for the first part. Again, we're going to scale it, move it back, um, scale it in, move it like that, just make it longer. Back a bit, just take care of the handle first. Okay, now we're going to insert um, some more edge loops. So, insert edge loop and come to my option window, make sure it's multiple edge loops, and I'm going to go for six. Okay, and insert it along there. Cool. Okay, I'm going to right click and come to vertex and just start coming in and again scaling them out so that they fit the sort of silhouette shape of our knife handle. So just briefly, I'm going to do mine quite quickly um, just so there's no sort of empty silence. Um, so yes, yeah, something, let me move these in just a tad, something like this should work. Move it slightly. Okay, then move it back to about there, I think. And then scale out. So I'm just going to click and drag and just move this one out to the side a bit. Okay, right, so again, this time I'm going to come back to my perspective view, let's see what's going on. And it's obviously it's far too thick at the moment. Let's, let's fix that now. So come in. And you can see we've got some geometry on the bottom as well. We'll just scale this first a bit more flat and we'll move it up a tad. Okay. So maybe scale it a bit more flat. Okay. Cool. Now I think uh, if we had a knife, we can see in our top, we can see by here, this little bit by here, this is going to be a bit thicker. So I'm just going to select all of these faces and make maybe maybe the sort of these faces in the middle keep this a bit thicker and this a bit thicker but this is going to go a bit thinner i think okay cool now i'm going to get this end edge and like we did with the fork all i'm going to do is i'm going to come to edit mesh and just extrude it like so and now i'm going to come to my vertex and i'm going to sort of click and drag and pull these ones out and just go like that, widen that a bit. And I'm also going to take this face and just scale it down the Y like that to start getting thinner. So this bit is going to be thinner. So just something like that should be fine. And now I've got that face selected, you can see I'm just going to come in, edit mesh, and extrude again. This time I'm going to come all the way. Okay. Cool. So obviously it's very flat at the moment, but we're going to add in some edge loops again. So I'm going to come to my edge loop and I think mm, maybe two actually. Two should be good. So just click and add two. And now again I can come in and start from sort of vertex mode. I'm going to click and drag and move these ones to, yeah, that's fine along there. Move them out a tad like this. Maybe move these ones out like that. Yeah. And these ones. And do the 
same here, try and get it kind of like that, that should be okay, and I, I think I'll add in one more edge loop um, if I if I just click and add, it'll add in two because I've got it, got my tool set to that, so I'll just come mesh tools into edge loop, come to the option box and turn off multiple edge loops, so I'll go equal distance and then I'll just click uh, no, we'll go equal distance actually the relative distance from edge okay and now I can come in to vertex and just move this one out a little bit nicer like so okay let's go to our um, side view and that's kind of what it's going to be looking like but let's go to my object mode and let's smooth this and see what we get okay let's go to our top view and see okay cool let's have a look at fixing the back first let's bring these vertex vertices out a bit more so let's scale them a bit scale these back ones outwards cool just being a bit nitpicky there really but yeah move that slightly move these ever so slightly okay cool now i'm just gonna select and kind of move this out a little bit maybe move move these points a little bit closer so we get more of a kind of ridge just like that okay cool and that's basically how we're gonna how we do our knife it's get it's basically there you just need to match them up a little bit more and yeah that's that's our knife really so you can see this is matching up quite nice so i'm just gonna move this over move this one over a bit this one over a bit move that in as well yeah and that's our that's our knife done so it was a very quick model that was, um, but you can see if we come to the side like that we've got, this is a little bit thinner than the edge. In fact, what I might do is select all these faces and make these just a touch thinner. So I'll get my scale and scale down in the Y. Okay, that's looking, that's looking a bit better. So that's how we model our um, knife so I'm gonna wrap it up there but um, yes yeah, so we've got a nice looking nice looking knife and that will be used um, later in our tutorial okay cool awesome